In this video, we fly over a castle, Stu puts up the toilet tent for the first time, and we make the most of a food market. You are ready for a different kind of life. You sign and fall, the wind is cold, you must return to the wild. Welcome back to the channel for another getaway in Harry, our Ford Auto Camper. My name is Jane and with Stu we record our adventures for our channel Getaway Geese. If you like our videos please give us a thumbs up and subscribe but also please drop us a comment as we love to hear from you. So back in late summer Stu managed to book a few days off work and we decided to return to Hay on Wye. Now you may recall in a previous video where we went to Hay on Wye and we absolutely fell in love with the dark orchard campsite. Now when we visited the weather was not so great, in fact it was awful and we couldn't really explore the market town as much as we wanted to. And the owners of the site, Peter, Linda and Chris, recommended that if we were going to come back to explore, come back on a Thursday because they have a morning market and I'm pleased to say that's exactly what we're doing. So today is Wednesday and we're on our way. But Harry's first job of the day is to take us to Clung Castle to have a look around the ruins in the village. That load's looking a little precarious. we finally arrive and Clun is such a pretty picturesque village. Take second right and then your destination is ahead. We go over the bridge and we manage to park right in the centre next to the castle site. It's a really small car park but I believe there is a larger car park somewhere else in the village. Now it's a little bit overcast as we start to explore the grounds and we just hope that the rain manages to stop away. And as we head to the top, we start to get visibility of what's left. And it certainly has a commanding view of the surrounding valley. The castle was built in the late 11th century and originally it would have been made from timber. And as you'd expect it has a long history of battles and owners, but in 1155 it was passed to the Fitzalan family who owned it for 400 years. But by the mid 14th century the Fitzalans only ever used it as their country retreat and by 1539 the castle was reported as ruinous. Today it's owned by the Duke of Norfolk and has been in his family since 1894 and it's run by the British Heritage. And Stu gets back to grips with the drone as he's a bit rusty as he's not flown it for quite a while. Thank you. 
Now at this point we actually managed to lose each other for about 10 minutes because there's a few paths down from the castle and Stu went one way and I went the other. But eventually we met up and we took a little walk through the side streets of Plun which has an eclectic mix of shops. is in the centre and it's such a really pretty spot. finally get back to Harry. And we're back on the road and as we head out the village we just sit back and enjoy the ride in Harry and I know I keep saying it but it's true it's all part of the fun of having a camper van. And we eventually reached Dark Orchard, which is a campsite that we've really come to love. Now on this trip we've decided to set out our outside toilet tent as we'll be here for three nights and it should make it more practical although we've never used it in the three years we've owned Harry. And at least it's easy to put up. And it's a bit odd we'd never used it because it was actually one of the first purchases we got before we'd even got Harry and it was one of those things that just seemed like a good idea at the time. And we've actually stored it in the van for three years as well, even though we haven't used it. And I suspect this is going to end up on the list of may not be needed. Well, the sun is up and the blue skies have come out for market day. And off we head to the high street, which is less than a 10 minute walk away from the campsite. as ever is our way we arrive early and many of the stalls are still setting up so we just have a mooch around pipe I'll play pipe oh, yeah. Stu loves his old tools and he recognises many that he threw out when his parents downsized and now he really regrets getting rid of them OK, we couldn't resist this stall and we know it won't help anybody's healthy lifestyle but we have to support the community so we felt that somebody had to take a hit for the team. Uh, 
We head up towards the castle area where there are many more stalls and we just love the hustle and the bustle of a good local market. Good morning to you. Um, a little bit of a flustered morning. checks out more food and he can't walk past these savoury tarts which we've decided will do really nicely for tea later on. Oh my god, I can have one tomorrow can't I? Yeah, get, get me one of those, or an apple strudel. Can now there's lots of handcrafted stalls on this market and there's even a guy that carves spoons. How long do they take to make? Uh, on Fantastic. average about three and a half hours. Oh, okay. And I come across a stall that's selling the most fantastic leather and woodwork and I ended up buying a hand carved box and a leather tray for Stu's indoor workshop. And it turns out he was a sound engineer before COVID and that obviously finished all his work. So he followed his passion for leather and woodwork. And when I asked how he'd trained or where he trained, he said he'd learnt it all from YouTube. So have a look at his website. I was absolutely not only bowled over by his story, but also the quality of his work. It was absolutely fantastic. And as we said on our previous video, Hay on Y is renowned for its second-hand bookshops. They are everywhere and we find ourselves in a labyrinth of shelf upon shelf of books. And we find ourselves meandering through the shops and the stalls, generally soaking up the great vibe that this town always has when we're here. And we've bought so much so early that Stu goes back to Harry to drop off all the goodies. And now it's time for a walk down to the River Wye.
recently, a pop-up tent village has been set up for family holidays across the river. over the bridge and check out a canoe hire business as we fancy doing that on our next visit here. And after a stunning day out we return to pub Harry who's waiting there to greet us. And we start by tucking into those savoury tarts. And followed by the jam and cream dessert. Oh, and finally the cheese board of local cheeses that we've picked up today. And by this stage, we are fit to burst. So if you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one where Stu finally finds a friend to talk to, we watch people get stuck on the river and we visit another stunning castle.